friends, welcome back to another video at Scott Skills. In today's video, we'll be learning how to use the backpack option in Scratch. This option is not only too easy to use, but it is super helpful. So first thing, let's understand how we can use this backdrop, or let's just say, what is the backpack? So now let me go to another project of mine. This is my star project. So in this project, I have a star that can actually duplicate and keeps going to the mouse and say that I want the same uh, star in this project, but I do not wish to redo all the code again. This is when the backpack comes handy. We can just put the star in the backpack and we can take it over here. Not only the sprites can be done like this, code, sounds, and costumes, and not mentioning the backdrops too. So let's see how we can work with the backpack now. I'm in my star project right now. So here I want to open my backpack and I want this sprite over here. So my star sprite. So when I put my whole star sprite in my star sprite, all the other things also come. In case in my star sprite there was any sound effect or color effect, that would also apply on it. So now what I need to do is just go to another project, a new page, and then I can just scroll down and go to the backpack option. Now when you open this, you have the star sprite. Take, drag and drop it in the sprite list area. And it's there. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. Now, now going to step number two, we can also put code inside to put code inside the backpack and take it in a new project all we need to do is duplicate the code and put it into the backpack so now there will be a script code go to the new project open the backpack and there will be this code i'm going to add the code for the sprite one I can just drag and drop it and it'll be there. Cool, huh? Now going to step number three about costumes. I've got a diamond costume over here. Now, if I want the diamond costume in this project, what I can simply do is I can just drag the diamond and put it in. Good. Now going to our old project, we can just open the backpack and the costume is there. And about costumes, you can select in which sprite you want to put the costume by dragging it over there. And the costume which moves will be the costume that you're going to put it in. So let's say I'm going to put it in sprite 1. Let's go to sprite 1's costumes and it's there. Easy. Now, we can also transport sounds. I've got sound collect over here. All I'm gonna do is drag and drop sound collect. And there's an option, sound collect. Going back to our project, I'm just gonna go to the backpack and I've got a sound collect. Now I can add it in any of the sprites I want. For now, I'm gonna add it in sprite one. Now I'm going to go to Sprite 1, and I've got the sound there. Okay. Now, last but not least, we can also do it with backdrops. So, doing it with backdrops is so much easy, just like all the other ones. All you need to do is drag and drop. It'll load, and your costume of the backdrop sits there. Next, going back to our project, we can open the backpack and it's there. Now we'll just drag and drop it over here in the stage. And we got it. Wasn't that super easy and super fun? Now, there are some cases that 
uh, your code might not go in. This case can be because you just drag and drop it. At times, it actually does not come for some people. Uh, say once they're using it their first time. In case it happens like that, just try to duplicate it and put. Okay? Yeah. So, hope you like today's video. Also, try out this star project that I've made. I'm sure you like it. So, see you in another video. I hope you like the video that I taught you about the backpack. Do subscribe, like, and share this video to spread awareness. Bye, friends.